during a search of his house. They say they found meth, marijuana, and illegal firearms. Number 10, Farah Abraham, 16 and pregnant and teen mom. Farah shot to public attention when she appeared on the hit MTV reality show, 16 and Pregnant, during its first season in 2009. The show documented her pregnancy and first months of motherhood, and it developed enough of a following for a spin-off series, starring her and other 16 and Pregnant co-stars, called Teen Mom, to launch later that same year. You know, like I'm going to school and I'm working, and I kind of miss being 16. After leaving the show and releasing her critically panned debut studio album in 2012, however, Farrah's career path changed drastically when she appeared in several pornographic videos and she took up a residency at a gentleman's club in Texas in the following years. I'm not like trashy and like, oh yeah, I was having sex and ha making a porno. No, I'm not like that. Number 9. David Rainey, The Real World the real world is often credited with launching the reality TV craze back in the early 90s, and when David Puck Rainey appeared on the show's third season in 1994, it was still red hot. He became famous, or rather infamous, for his toxic relationship with the other cast members, many of whom accused David of seriously poor hygiene and cleanliness. I'm like, hey dude, I'm a bike messenger, get used to it. He was eventually evicted. His troubles didn't end there, however, as he ran into a series of legal problems once off the show. Arrested for domestic violence in 2003, jailed for battery in 2009, faced multiple charges surrounding a drunk driving incident in 2010, and a few more. You know, I lost everything. I had uh -huh. nothing. I didn't have a pair of sneakers. Last we heard, he was on felony probation and was not permitted to leave Los Angeles. Number 8. Chumley, also known as Austin Lee Russell, Pawn Stars. Austin Russell, who you probably only know as Chumley, is known for his time on History Channel's Pawn Stars, where he quickly became a fan favorite. What's your bottom number? I'd say about 600. It's not gonna happen. In fact, his success led him to start his own profitable side business selling novelty items so that he could more effectively capitalize on selling his own merch to adoring fans. But he eventually ran into some serious legal troubles in 2016 when his home was raided while he was being investigated for sexual assault allegations, and police found various drugs and a stockhouse of legally owned weapons, including handguns, shotguns, and rifles. Shockingly though, he was quickly released on bond, charged with 20 counts of felony, and only sentenced to three years probation. We'd call that extremely lucky. Number 7. Richard Hatch, Survivor Richard is no stranger to the reality TV limelight. He won the first season of Survivor and appeared on an all-star edition of the show, and also appeared on both Celebrity Apprentice and The Biggest Loser. But in 2006, he was charged with tax evasion for failing to pay taxes on his Survivor winnings and spent 51 months in prison. Did you pay those taxes? You'll learn that at the hearing on January 10th. He's not the only Survivor star to run into trouble after the show either, as second and 25th season cast member Michael Scoopin served a year in prison for larceny, racketeering, and child pornography charges. Number 6. Adam Jasinski, Big Brother Talk about a story of redemption. Adam Jasinski won Big Brother 9 in 2008 and enjoyed all the highs that come with winning half a million dollars and having his face plastered across national TV. Eventually, though, this meant descending into addiction and crime. He used his winnings from Big Brother to purchase oxycodone pills with the intent to distribute, but was busted by the DEA in 2009 and served four years in prison. But, and here's some good news for a change, Jasinski reformed his life after being released, writing a resource book on drug addiction, and is now an addiction recovery consultant who works in the mental health field. And I take you from start to finish, from prevention to your kid coming home and what to do after they get off of drugs okay. is vital. Number five, Michael Sorrentino, Jersey Shore. Mike the Situation Sorrentino was a standout member of the Jersey Shore crew, and he quickly skyrocketed to fame after the show's first season. This is the situation right here. My abs are so ripped up, it's called the situation. It's claimed that he made over $5 million in 2010 alone due to his fame and subsequent business endorsement deals. But fame couldn't stop the situation's life from falling apart when he checked himself into rehab for oxycodone abuse in 2012 and was arrested for assault and charged with tax fraud in 2014. 
He didn't serve his tax evasion sentence until January of 2019 and will be released in September of the same year. But don't worry, he apparently loves prison, according to an April 2019 interview with Cosmo. Number 4. Teresa Giudice – The Real Housewives of New Jersey this star rose to prominence based on her time on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and later appeared on The Celebrity Apprentice in 2012. She also found success outside of the reality TV sphere, authoring multiple New York Times best-selling cookbooks. I didn't know I was committing a crime. The government saw it differently. I got sentenced. But in 2013, she and her husband were charged with conspiracy to commit bankruptcy fraud, among a number of other charges. Teresa ultimately served 11 months in prison. Oh, you are stripping? Was you are stripping? Arrested. Prostitution whore? You are f***ing engaged 19 times? You f***ing stupid bitch! She's not the only Housewives cast member whose stardom went off the rails either, as fellow Real Housewives of New Jersey star Danielle Staub filed for bankruptcy and entered psychological and addiction treatment after leaving the show. And the Real Housewives of Atlanta star Apollo Nida served about five years for identity theft and bank fraud. Number 3. Renee Alway – America's Next Top Model Renee performed well during her time on reality TV, coming in third place in the eighth season of America's Next Top Model, and was the runner-up in a top model spin-off series called Modelville. But things went downhill quickly from there, as she was arrested for multiple offenses in 2013, including theft, fraud, burglary, drug possession, and committing a felony on bail, not to mention her other prior arrests that same year. She was sentenced to 12 years in prison, but was released in April of 2018. Who do you think you hurt the most? My children and myself. Luckily, Renee is now clean and sober, and looking back on her prison time is the thing that saved her from eventually taking her own life during her struggle with addiction. Number 2. Josh Duggar, 19 Kids and Counting 19 Kids and Counting was an extremely popular TLC reality show, averaging a reported 2.3 million viewers per episode in 2015. But all that came to a crashing halt by the end of the season, when TLC cancelled the series following reports that the eldest son of the Duggar family, Josh, molested five girls, four of them his sisters, in 2002 and 2003. Why? I mean, was that a question that you asked? He said he was just curious about girls, and he had gone in and just basically touched them over their clothes while they were asleep, and they didn't even know he had done it. Despite admitting his guilt and apologizing, Josh was never prosecuted, because the statute of limitations on the crimes in question had expired. But Josh was further rocked by scandals that same year, when it was revealed he was a member of the affair-promoting website Ashley Madison, and he was accused of assaulting porn star Danica Dillon during consensual sex at a strip club in Philadelphia. He's been spending years and years trying to like interfere with gay people's right to get married, and so seeing that kind of come back on him and seeing his own marriage get sort of taken for a ride, you know, it felt like karma. Number one. Tim Zicker, IRT, Deadliest Roads. Nothing signals a fall from reality TV stardom like threatening to kill a prostitute. Tim Zicker was a driver on season two of the short-lived spinoff of Ice Road Truckers called Deadliest Roads, and found himself in a world of trouble when allegations surfaced that he kidnapped, abused, and extorted a woman he claimed stole money from him. It turns out he gave this woman his ATM card to withdraw money for sexual services, but later exploded in rage when the Las Vegas sex worker took too much. He then tied her up and beat her, attempting to retrieve the money for someone who could pay for her. That someone ended up being a cop who swiftly put him in handcuffs. I'm being charged right now with uh, first degree kidnapping, first degree extortion, first degree coercion. Tim was sentenced to anywhere from 5 to 15 years in prison in 2015 and is still serving his sentence as of 2019. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thank you.